Hi, it's Angela Critters. Today we're going to make my very favorite cake of all, an ooey gooey butter cake. And today's is going to be made with pistachio pudding. It's one of the best ooey gooey butter cakes that I make. I have a whole playlist. So I've already got two boxes of pistachio instant pudding in a mixing bowl. And I'm putting in one package of cake mix. My recipe calls for yellow cake. I have white. Either one is fine with ooey gooey. They both work perfectly. I always just use whatever I have. So I'm going to mix this up with a spoon and put in one and a half sticks of unsalted melted butter. You don't use a mixer for this part. You just mix it. And I'm putting in one egg that I've already beaten. Alright, so I've got it mixed up with a fork and a spoon, and it's crumbly. It resembles a shortbread batter. And I'm going to just lightly spray my pan, my 9 by 13 These are not good 8 by 8 It has to be in a 9 by 13 If you don't have one, you can get one for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. There's no reason to go out and buy you know, a $30 pan for this. So I'm going to press this down in my 9 by 13 Alright, so now we're going to make our filling. And I've got three and three quarters cups of confectioner's sugar, or that would be one pound of confectioner's sugar. So I'm going to dump that in my mixing bowl. You do need a hand mixer or a stand mixer. It's almost impossible to make these without some type of mixer. They're so thick. So that was my confectioner's sugar. One more box of pistachio instant pudding. I don't have any other ooey gooey cakes that have pudding in them. And then I've got three beaten eggs. And a little tiny bit of vanilla. Or you can use almond to make the pistachio more pronounced. We're not into almonds, so I'm using vanilla. And then finally, an eight ounce softened cream cheese. And I'm going to beat this up, and then it's going to go on top of my batter that I have here. And you start kind of low because you don't want your confection of sugar going everywhere. And just like with anything in the mixer, you stop every now and then, you're going to push the mixture down to make sure that the sides are scraped real well. So now it's mixed. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And this is going to be, you know, mixed pretty smooth. So many famous baking families from St. Louis claim that they invented the recipe and that some people say it was invented in the 30s. Most likely it was the 40s. But a German baker, what I've always heard, messed up a recipe and accidentally made these. And when his wife saw them, she said, oh, they're so gooey and they're so good. So he went over to a friend's bakery and they worked together for like all night and day to perfect these and they started selling them out of the friend's bakery and before long they said that people were lined up out in the street every day so depending on whose bakery because <laughs> so many people like I said claim to have made these but they really are famous in San Francisco San Francisco <laughs> I can't believe I said that <laughs> St. Louis San Francisco is famous for rice aroni but anyway so I'm putting this all across the bottom here and I'm going to just even it out and then I'm going to be putting it in at 350 the original cakes were plain and then over the years we started adding flavors to them and the pistachio pudding was invented by Jello in 1975 and people just took pistachio pudding and ran with it and that was when they added it to ooey gooey butter cake bars and oh it makes it so good. And this is so pretty for Mother's Day because of the color. So it's going to cook for 35 to 40 minutes. 
and I'll be checking it, and it's going to be cooked on the edges, but the inside, the center is still going to be jiggly. Look how pretty it is. It was ready at 35 minutes. Like I said, it could be 35 or 40. See how the edges are lightly browned? That's all you want because it is gooey. And then to make it extra pretty, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of confectioner sugar across the top. And that's going to kind of melt a little bit. But it just makes it a little bit pretty. And you're going to let these cool completely before you cut them. And if you're taking them somewhere to serve, wait and cut them when you get there. And you might want to dip your knife into water in between each time you slice because they are kind of sticky. And as always, I've got the complete directions in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I really think you're going to love this version of my ooey gooey butter cake bars. And do check out my playlist. Thanks so much. Bye bye.